Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the second edition of the Arabic Sounds video series. The objective today is to cover three letters. These three letters look the same but all make different sounds. So let's get started. I hope you have your mirror with you and that you're ready to benefit as much as you can. We're just trying to make the sounds as tangible as possible. So the, the three letters that we're tackling today are Jim, Ha, and Kha. The first letter, straight line with a C, it's got a dot in between, and that is going to be the sound J, J. But let's take a step back and let's try it in English. This does correlate with the sounds that we have in English. Can you say the word jug or jump? Try the word George. Do you notice there's a little bit of strength in the, the sound that's coming out? You don't say jug or George. Now what I want you to do is be sure of that whenever pronouncing this letter, the sound shouldn't be really running in your mouth. Say jump, jump. Great. Now the first letter, it's got a dot in between. The name of the letter is jim. So if you can say j, 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 like the word jannatun, jannatun, jannatun. Great. Let's try another one, maybe a little bit simpler. You'll hear the sound bounce a little bit, but you'll figure out why later. Let's try the word Aj Ma'in. Aj Ma'in. Didn't really work out, right? That little Ain sound didn't work. Okay, let's try something a little bit easy, easier. How about the word Jabalun? We did the Ba already, right? So let's try that again. Jabalun. Jabalun. Great. We got one more before we leave. Let's try it together. Ja ma a. Ja ma a. Great. Now, you might be a little overwhelmed by some of the other sounds, but take it as it comes. The next letter is a jug, but it's hollow. It's empty. So if you can try it with me, just take a big sip out of your lemonade. Take a big gulp out of it, and when you're done on a hot summer day, you'll say, You'll take a big sip and say, <sighs> that's the hollow sound in the jug, which is the name of the letter, ha, <laughs> ha. So let's practice a few sounds in English first. Try saying it at home. Think about, think about the word spicy hot. Spicy hot, like a jalapeno or like eating a char or fir fir. Something spicy and you start saying, <sighs> That's the same place that the sound of this letter will come out of. Let's try it together. Ha. It doesn't take any effort, just like when you let your air out after taking a big sip. Great. Let's take some examples together. The name of the letter is ha, and the sound that it makes is hamada. Hamada. Let's try another example, like al. Alhamdu, alhamdu. How about a simpler one? We did ta with two dots on top. Let's touch the top two teeth. Hatta, hatta. For those of you who are home having a small asthma attack and you're kind of getting overwhelmed, you're trying too much. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Hatta comes out very naturally. Comes out from the second part of the throat. Hatta. Ha. Excellent. The third letter, straight line with the C, but now it has a dot on its head. It has a small dot. I want you to say the word scratch with me. The name of this letter is kha. Say the word in English. Scratch. And when something has a scratch, you tend to kind of scratch it a little bit. So scratch the back of your throat and say kha. Kha. Scratch. Let's try the word together. Yah ruju. Yah ruju. Excellent. Let's try one more. Yah ruju. Let's try the word kha ra ja. So we've seen the jim before, the jug with the dot inside. Let's try it together. Kha ra ja. Little side note. Did you see the lips O for ra? I'm not saying kha ra ja. I'm saying kha. Raw, ja, jug, jump, kharaja. Excellent. 
I think we've seen quite a few examples for today. I want you to rewind the video or the YouTube clip or however you're viewing this and make sure you're recording yourself and getting the right sound out. I pray that this benefits you and that those who seek guidance can find it. I'll see you in the next video. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.